Hi again, welcome to the Garage on Pierre. This uh, time around, I've been given a little uh, steam engine. This, uh, this was given by Banggood, I didn't pay for this. So uh, I uh, kind of decided to make a little evaluation after they gave it to me and see how, uh, how this would perform and uh, how this could uh, be a fun thing to uh, maybe share with you. The size of it, just to give you some kind of an idea of the scale of uh, the little uh, engine, this, this is a 355 millime milliliter can of soda. You, I guess you can guess the brand. Okay, first things first, safety. This is an uh, alcohol operated uh, little engine. So uh, there's heat, there's alcohol, there's steam, there's uh, pressure. So uh, might be considered a toy, but for adults only. If uh, children are to be involved into those uh, evaluations and projects, um, adult supervision is uh, required, I would say. Uh, don't leave it. Don't let uh, children, young children, play with this. So, uh, with no further ado, let's uh, let's see what we got. As a start, this is about what we get. We get a little uh, reservoir for uh, water. We get the uh, mechanical part of the engine itself. You're gonna notice here. There's a small hole where the steam goes in. You got two screws here that they're uh, kind of soldered to. Uh, no, not to undo themselves and you got the safety valve under here which you check if it's uh, up operating freely so uh, important thing to check all the time so you get no overpressure no uh, I could say explosion okay there's another thing you have underneath here if I can just uh, there's a no ring here so something to be careful just put it back in place properly make sure that uh, there's no no kink no fold no uh, no nothing so it's properly in place okay now the way to according to the instructions uh, you put this thing here the reservoir for water I would say uh, two-thirds full that's what they say it goes good so far that's what I tried the reservoir here for alcohol um, here in this case I'm using uh, fondue uh, fuel which uh, I find it works pretty good it leaves no deposit no uh, no problems whatsoever whatsoever with it this uh, they say fill up to the two-thirds of the capacity of the um, the reservoir what I found I uh, the first time I connected this uh, not connected but I tried it I uh, filled it up about two-thirds if not maybe around there I'd say and the problem I had the uh, with the expansion um, the liquid and air in there would uh, seep along the wick and tend to uh, overflow over the cover there so uh, I wouldn't suggest to uh, put that much uh, I would say to my experience here half full that's good enough that'll give you uh, many minutes of uh, fun and uh, fun and game with it this comes uh, with the wick and cover it's all solid brass it's pretty heavy it's pretty uh, pretty well made as as uh, as, lo as long as those parts here here we got the little uh, engine itself everything is made uh, of two materials uh, brass and stainless steel stainless steel for the uh, piston here the uh, valve is made of stainless steel the little uh, hardware boats and everything made stainless steel the all the connecting rods and everything are made with brass and the uh, fabrication seems to be pretty nice uh, I would say it fits pretty good it's uh, it operates very uh, very nicely no uh, no bind no nothing no um, very regular uh, rotation on this so this is a this is a nice piece though and it's it's quite heavy on top of that um, it came in pretty well wrapped and uh, no damage uh, as far as uh, getting here it got here very uh, very safely very uh, in one part so uh, let's reassemble this quite simply we're gonna get ready for a little uh, test ride this part here with the water about two-thirds full let's uh, see about uh, closing the, closing the lid There we go 
we're gonna feel, okay, we're, we're making contact here. Just a little bit like an oil filter in a car. You do not over tighten, just snug. And uh, that's gonna do the job real good without uh, breaking the uh, O-ring in there. So this is done for this. I'm going to have to add a little bit of alcohol in there. It's about quarter full, so I'd like to have it near half full. So we got at least a few minutes of a... Uh... <laughs> Come on, you. That should be enough. Also, you get supplied um, with one wick and an extra wick. So this is the extra wick. We'll take care of it. We'll put it aside. Make sure that the uh, main wick is right going right down to the uh, alcohol bat. One thing I found is uh, I do not tighten this part completely. So it leaves uh, room for expansion. You know, if the air expands a little bit by heating up, it won't push the uh, alcohol along the wick and just maybe uh, make it like it. what what it did for me when I uh, had it full. It, it made the uh, alcohol wick and wick everything just go along the wick and just overflow a little bit like this here which is not something that uh, is des desirable so let's make this uh, clean and we're playing with fire here so let's make uh, let's make the surface this is silicon um, and I'm on a uh, welding table so I'm sure that if ever something spills uh, I'm not going to set any table or any uh, anything on fire. This is pretty uh, fireproof. Okay, let's uh, put, oops, those little, uh, this is good enough. Those little stainless rods here are uh, inserted into the holes. And the way to install this on there is just by finding the holes on the top. There are corresponding holes on the uh, top of the engine here. There we go. It's sitting on the uh, right place. Let's put this in the middle of this. Let's get rid of that. I'm gonna, I'm getting rid of the over, uh, there's a little bit of too much uh, alcohol on the, on the wick so it's just uh, pouring over. It's not, uh, it's not desirable, like I say. Um, something that uh, I did, but you have to uh, also do whenever you finish with the, um, the engine, clean it up and oil it. Make it dry, oil it, and that's going to keep it from uh, corrosion or whatever. There you go. All the, uh, all the joints got to be... Uh, a little bit of oil, the little flywheel, everything. So, there we go. Doesn't take much, but uh, has to be done. Another thing, um, you can use tap water if you want to, but uh, I highly suggest uh, distilled water. That, that will uh, avoid the residues, uh, scaling, and uh, all the uh, inconvenience due mostly to hard water. Maybe another detail, the oil, I'm using like a little bit of a turbine oil, uh, three in one, um, even uh, baby oil would do it. The baby oil is even the, um, it's not, it's a, even non-toxic oil that uh, you can use. Baby oil, the only thing that's uh, added in there is uh, perfume. I don't know if we can see the flame in there. Yeah, we can see a little flame. That will take uh, three or four minutes, I would say, not much more than that. You see the, uh, the wick tends to uh, climb the, uh, the alcohol up in there. Pull it out a little bit. It's bubbling a little bit along the wick. That's, uh, what, that's one problem I find with this little, uh, this little motor. Maybe a little bit too, uh, too filled up. So we might have to wait maybe a little minute or a minute or two. One suggestion, get yourself some uh, leather gloves. This is my uh, cheaper pair of uh, welding gloves. Okay. As we can see there, we're starting to see some water coming up there. 
Yeah, it's uh, it's boiling. It's getting there. So now what's going to have to be done? In the instructions, they say so. Okay, I'm going to be making sure that uh, this stays in place, and you give it a little push. It's the little push is counterclockwise, and if there's a decent amount of pressure in there, they will start. There we go. It's running. The uh, alcohol in there is going to be good for, uh, I would say, uh, five, ten minutes maybe. I'm not exactly sure. And uh, if you find the uh, alcohol burner to be too, too troublesome to use or too dangerous, there's an alternative called this uh, girly power. Uh, not because of because it's a candle, it's because these ones smell a little bit like, uh, yeah, girly. These are scented. But uh, it might take a little bit more time, but you will eventually get it to work. There you go. Probably it would be a little safer if you are afraid of, uh, let's say, alcohol being spilled or something. This could be a very, very good alternative. That's it. There you go, it's running. It'll be running for a while. Or until I uh, just uh, turn off flame from underneath. So this little, um, let's say, well, toy for adult, I would say, is uh, pretty much fun to operate uh, with caution. No, like I say, it's, uh, it involves steam, it involves heat, it involves pressure, it involves alcohol and uh, flame. So um, I suggest that uh, I will repeat it again. Kids only uh, to use on a, uh, under supervision of an adult. So if you're ever, if you're ever interested in uh, getting one of those, Go into the uh, description box. I'll give a direct link to uh, get yourself one. It's about, uh, I would say, $70. It's not the cheapest, uh, you know, little device you can have, but uh, for a gift or an, uh, an introduction to little steam engines, I think that could be a good, uh, a good start. Like I say, be careful. You're playing with flames, heat, and uh, steam and pressure. So, but it's fun and it works good. So that's it. If you like these kinds of projects, don't forget to give a thumbs up, say you like, and uh, if you don't like it, uh, be constructive. If you're gonna put a thumbs down, maybe just uh, don't even watch it in the first place. So see you next time.